recap, cybersecurity bachelor's degree, not got a job in cybersecurity ever, and CAS Plus certification, got, you know, NTS Plus, CISA Plus, security. So this creator is having a hard time finding a job, even though he has a cybersecurity degree as well as certifications. And he's also saying that he's not seeing cybersecurity degrees as preferred qualifications on job postings. For one, cybersecurity degrees are fairly new, if I'm being honest. They just came out a few years ago. Um, some schools already had them, but for the most part, they're fairly new. And if I'm being honest, cybersecurity degrees are basically a bunch of mixed, I mean, business classes with high level technical classes. And it doesn't really even teach you that much. And I also looked at WGU, um, like course overview for their degree. Um, 34 total classes with about 20 of them being like, you know, language, math, English, and business classes with high level technical classes, intro to Linux, intro to cloud, intro to scripting and stuff like that. So it's like, it's not hard to imagine why people have not necessarily been able to find a job after graduating from WGU, especially if they never had an experience. I feel like WGU is for people that already have the experience in this uh, industry, and then they just want to have a degree because it's just like, oh, I have this degree to my name. However, when you have no degree, I mean, you have no degree, you have no experience, and then you try to go to WGU, um, it makes it a bit hard because WGU is very self-paced. Um, I mean, you have like these Slack groups and stuff like that where you communicate with other people, but it's not really meant for people that's looking to make a career transition or don't really have as much you know, experience as someone that's going there just for the sake of the degree. That's completely different. It All right, so I'm going to pause it right there because it's a it's a longer video. I'll make sure I put my guy Tay's uh, link in the description. Friend of the show, been on the channel before. So it's a lot to unpack here, but some of the stuff he mentioned about WGU is why I don't recommend it for a lot of people because of the way it's structured. What is W? What school is that? WG Western Governors University. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, it's a, like I said, I always say it's a school. Like he said, it's a good if you get like some type of entry level role, and you can go there because it's cheap and pay for it and get a degree. Cool. But if you go the traditional route, I don't think it's the best way because for one, it forces you to get a whole bunch of certifications that you don't need. And the thing about that is that forces you in the same type of thing that we run into while we're doing school. It's, particularly in high school or college. You learn something for a semester, then you forget it. You learn something for a semester, then you forget it. It's the same thing. You learn something for a cert, then you forget it. You learn something for a cert, then you forget it. So when you got all these different certs, they're not even kind of building off each other. In theory, they do, but because you got to go study different things every class, it doesn't. Secondly, I looked at the curriculum too. I was doing a consultation with somebody the other day. They actually, actually asked me about going to WGU, and then we looked at it. I was like, yeah, this is a lot of intro stuff. This isn't particularly classes that's related to a lot of things you may see in the actual company, which can make it hard for you. And it goes back into the discussion of, hey, if you're going to go to school, whether it's a master's or a bachelor's, outside of price, look at the curriculum and what you'll get out of it. A school like WGU can be fast track. It's for people mostly that already have a job. They can just say, hey, and really for checking the box. But if you're wanting to get more of a better alumni feel, better curriculum and all that different things that like those bigger colleges offer, then you need to try to go there because that'll help you benefit. I don't know too much up in my hand how WGU's alumni is. Like I know from even my, my bachelor's and even though my who I got a master's from, they have a decent sized alumni, especially in the area. And as well as at Louisiana Tech. And if I see somebody with tech on their thing on LinkedIn, I'm always adding them. Like, oh, I went to tech class of 13, whatever. I know I feel like an old head, but hey. <laughs> um, I'll show y'all guys one day on here. One of the reasons I picked to go to LA Tech is when everybody graduates, they get a, a brick. And a brick, um, they have them all the way back from like the 1900s or 1800s. And everybody's name is on, um, on the brick, the graduating class. And so I've seen my brick plenty of times. So if I ever go back to Rustin, I will vlog it and show you guys my brick so you guys That's can cool. see how cool it is. That's super yeah. cool. It's a unique thing. Everybody takes pride in having that brick. There's a lot of people that started with me in 2010 that didn't get a brick. So, <laughs> And it's a when you graduate thing. Yeah, yeah, when you graduate. Like they give you this coin and you throw the coin in the fountain. And then when you graduate, you get another coin. And then, of course, you get your brick. And you could choose to get 
a replica brick at your house, and I should have got a replica brick as well. But, um, what I was going to say about that, I agree with that. I like how he talked about there was a mix between business classes and technical classes because that's really what it is, especially when you get like to that master's level. Um, the classes are like high level overviews. It's up to you to take what you're learning and, you know, dive a bit deeper into that. And I feel like that's just with our education system. You can't just think that you're going to learn something in school or um, whatever the teacher's post is or your uh, professor or whatever instructor. You can't just think that because you're going through this in class that that's enough for you to be able to, um, you know, retain that information. You need to do more practicing, more research, more diving into that content um, in order to fully immerse yourself in it so that it is something that sticks with you and it doesn't go in one ear and out the other. So I like that call out on it as well. Um, and getting an experience as early as possible is the best thing that you can do um, so that you can use that to um, build upon your next career opportunity of advancement. So definitely keep that in mind. I'm not saying don't go, but if you can, absolutely talk to somebody who's already working in the industry because they can look at those courses and tell you, like, this is outdated or this is not even, you know, a good bunch of classes that they're putting together. Like, I know my brother, he's switching over to tech. And so I was helping him look at the courses that his school and stuff like that offers based on what I see that's happening in the industry or, you know, um, skills that employers are are looking after. Yeah, and while you were talking, you probably can see in the bottom of the thing, I went here so I could show people um, just this. You know, we like to show and tell here. And this is not to tell you to not go to uh, no WGU. This is just to show you something. So here's a cybersecurity degree. Okay. So, yeah, here go the general stuff that you typically take. In the, uh, this is the bachelor's. Is. Yeah, this is the bachelor's. Okay. And so all this stuff is stuff you really don't need. And now here are the, like you say, like he was telling you, Linux Foundations, Intro. You got an intro and then a scripting programming foundation class. So like he says, like a lot of foundations. Like, so when you're looking at this curriculum. It's very broad and um, which isn't necessarily bad because you're being exposed to different stuff. You can determine, I hate this. I don't like this. I do like that. But it's not diving deep enough. I see what he's what he's talking about. Yeah, it's just a lot of stuff. And that's, I think this is the overall problem of bachelors. Uh, like, because you're not going to know how to pen test off one course. You're not going to know enough about risk management off one course or this or this. Like, it's hard because it's trying to show you so many different things. Uh, they definitely makes... got you all over the <laughs> all over the place with the classes, forensics, pen testing, mm -hmm. incident response, networking, uh, cryptography, very broad. Yeah, and this is what reminds me of it kind of like it really uh, relics uh, CIS degree, if I'm being honest. Some of this stuff like what reminds me of my CIS degree yeah. outside of um, – it's out of the pen test stuff. I didn't do any pen, with pen testing, but this reminds me of that. But here was one of the things I did have an issue with their capstone. It's only a written project. What is it? It's only on. they don't even <laughs> they don't even tell you no details. I yeah, I know so for me, for example, when what something that got me excited to apply for my master's program was seeing what the the big project was. Um, you know that you needed to do. So like ours was to pretend that you were a CISO and create a like security risk analysis. It was a lot. It was a whole bunch of things that we did, but even just understanding what it's asking you for. And as a student being excited, this is not detailed enough. And maybe you have to be a student to know more details, but I feel like for marketing purposes, they need to give more context here about what the project could be or examples of past projects. And, you know, just my personal opinion. No, it's written. Like, for example, at least when our capstone in my bachelor's, we actually had to use all the skills we learned to create yeah. something. So we had a project where we created an inventory system for the bowling alley at the intramural. So we actually had a, like, we programmed it, but they did visual basics. So you had where you can enter your shoes and information stuff in. We did the database stuff. We used Microsoft Project. We had to present it. We had to do all these different things so we could simulate 
actually a present life. a project yeah. to somebody is on a call or something like that. So it's like, in, in theory, all these different things don't really, if they want to do that, they should have niched these like uh, skills down some more when it came to this course. Or they should have like like some different tracks. I can respect tracks. They do. They do have different tracks. So if I go back real quick and let me zoom out. You know, they got computer science, they got cybersecurity, that and like they have different stuff. Which, so it's kind which of one was that? The cyber and it's information cyber security assurance? And information assurance. It was still just broad, broad. Like Cloud computing, like I'm guaranteeing this information assurance and IT wouldn't have a lot of uh, overlap. Yep. But yeah. Like I say, guys, I would advise probably doing this. Like, if you want to get the college experience, go to college. If you get a job and you just want to get a degree, do WGU because at least it's going to give you that degree checkbox. And I'm saying that because I know we've been talking about having a degree or not having a degree. And I can tell you from having clients that. Having a degree will benefit you because there will be jobs that have a hard requirement just for a degree that you really can do. And it's like just having it. And I know we see the different TikToks of, hey, more companies are saying no degree, but that don't really benefit you when you look like us. Uh, so you're going to have to be two times as good and stand out. So 